Hey guys, welcome back to my Silver Stripe tutorials. And in this tutorial, we're going to go over page controllers and we're going to create a comment form for our video pages. So we're going to go ahead and open up our video page. And in the same directory, we're going to open up a new file. And this is going to be our video page controller. And it's going to extend page controller. Next, we're going to import a few classes that we're going to use in our form. You're going to need form, field list, text field, text area field, and form action. Next, we're going to need to define a new array called allowed actions. This is going to include the name of our comment form, which is just going to be called comment form. Now we'll need to define that comment form. So we're going to open up a new function, call it the same thing. And we're going to start with form equals form create. We're going to add our semicolon here so we don't forget. The first argument for our form creation is going to be the page controller that handles this, which is just going to be this. The second will be the name, so we're just going to call it comment form. And the third would be a field list with our comment form fields in it. We'll say create in here again. And our first field is going to be a text field. And that's going to contain the name of our commenter. And the second is going to be a text area field. And that's going to be the actual comment. Now our form's fourth argument is going to be a field list that contains the form actions. So if you're familiar with HTML, that'll be our submit button. So it's going to be the form action, create. We're going to say the form handler in here, which we will define. So it would be handle form. And then we'll just say what the button should say in here. Now we'll just return that form. We're going to define our form handler here. Now this is going to have two parameters, the first being data, which would be our request data, and the second being the form. Now we'll need to create a new data object to represent our video comments. So we're going to open up a new file, same directory. Save that under video comment. Now we need to save the name and the comment in our video comment here. Both will be of type text. We'll also need to relate this to our video page. So that's has one. And we'll need to reflect that in our video page too.
Now back in our form handler, we'll create that video comment. We'll associate that comment to this page right here. So we'll say video page ID equals this ID, this being the video page. Next, we'll save everything from the form into the comment. And then we'll save all our changes with that comment by calling write. Finally, we'll just return, redirect back. That way, after you leave a comment, you're just taken back to the video page. Now back in the template for our video page, I just added these bootstrap wrappers. So I'll go ahead and let you copy those down. But we're gonna add our comment form here. Now back in our browser, we're just gonna run the old dev build. All right, once that's done, if you go back to your video page, you should see your comment form here. So I'm just going to leave a comment. OK, it's submitted, but we don't see it yet. So we're going to need to update our template. So back in our template, we're going to open up a new container here. And we're going to loop over our video comments. We'll just say name and break line comment. Close that up. Now if we refresh our video page, we should see our comment. Now if you want to make it look a little bit prettier, you can go ahead and add these bootstrap classes that I just added in. But if we go back to the front end and add another comment, we should see all of them show under this video page. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. In the next video, we'll go over another form that uses filters and pagination for searching videos. So catch you then.